Hello, I am here to help you with yet another blue ribbon assignment for September. I hope these are going well for you guys and that you're understanding what's going on. Go ahead and take a second to read that Calvin and Hobbes clip. I just love Calvin and Hobbes. If you need to pause it, that's completely fine. So think about this, the word block. There, there can be a couple things that come to mind right now. Are you thinking of um, a distance? Like, I live four blocks away from you? Or are you perhaps thinking something a child plays with? Same word, two different meanings. What about a pet? Are you thinking dog, cat, bird? Or are you thinking about maybe petting something and you stroke lightly. You pet your dog. You um, pet your sister. <laughs> I know sometimes I joke with my kids. I kind of pet their head like, oh, you're such a good boy. So that can be two different meanings. So words that have multiple meanings are actually called homographs. Big word there. Keep it in your brain. They look the same, but they have different meanings. Check out some of these words and let's think about them. Wave. Hmm. Wave goodbye or a wave in the ocean. Down. I sit down or there's down in my pillow, the fully soft feathers. Crown. Hmm. The queen wears a crown or I crown you prince of Germany. Two different meanings. What about rock? I stepped on a rock and hurt my foot, or because you're watching this video, you rock. Two different meanings. Those are all great examples of homographs. So let's try it together. Did you hear my phone ring? Is the meaning of this word a sound? A piece of jewelry worn on the finger? A dirty circle inside the bathtub? Or to call someone? Well, if it's using the verb here, I'm pretty sure it's referring to a sound. I need a hammer to finish building the birdhouse. Hmm. To force a piece of a nail into a piece of wood, a tool used to hit nails, to hit something in a forceful way, or to defeat another team easily. Well, this is being used as a noun. I need a hammer, so it must be a tool. Charlie is auditioning for the school play after school. To do activities for fun, writing that is performed on stage, to participate in a baseball game, or to perform using a musical instrument. Hmm. Well, he's auditioning for a school play. That's a thing. It's a writing that is performed on stage. Now, did you understand? Did you follow everything I went through? If not, please go through this video again and watch it. You can pause it, rewind it, whatever you need to do to understand what homographs or multiple meaning words are. So while it's fresh in your brain, go ahead and log into Study Island and complete the lesson titled Multiple Meaning Words. Think of a few homographs today and came all them to me because I would love to hear some more homographs that are appearing in your daily life. And let me know how you're doing with your blue ribbons. If you're having some trouble, I'd love to invite you to some of my small groups. Or just let me know if you need more help with these, more videos, more time to chat, anything you need. I'd love to help you. Hope you have a great afternoon, day, evening, whichever you're watching this. And I look forward to working with you soon.